Since the application is fully parametric, I would like to show you in this video that to design this cabinet with sliding door, you can start from your template cabinet and modify it very quickly. This is our default cabinet and indeed it doesn't have a lot in common with the cabinet and the sliding doors. So we are going to transform this cabinet, we are going to delete a few features we don't need anymore and we are going to modify it somehow. In this case I have very quickly deleted the fitting and the shelves. Since I know that the bottom should slide up a little, uh, I'm going to create a new parameter called uh, leg, for example, and uh, assign a value of 138 millimeter. And in my cabinet manager, I will assign a new Z position for my bottom by assigning my new uh, parameter leg. This is what happens. This is not really sexy indeed, but I'm going to drop the edit feature to recalculate it. This is uh, already looking more uh, like my uh, cabinet with sliding doors. So now I'm going to edit the dimensions of my cabinet, so the height uh, about uh, 2 meter and the width about 1 meter 60 uh, centimeter. Next I'm going to design the inside of the cabinet. I'm dropping a uh, place division, I'm setting one vertical separation, uh, I select the same material than the rest of the cabinet, and in D4 I, I don't need a value, I can set it to zero because I want my vertical separation to be on the same face than the bottom and the top. Now I'm going to drop the uh, multi-hole function, so the fitting function. I'm going to add some dowels to the vertical separation and I'm going to set some shelves. I'm going to drop now the multi-hole feature on the right lateral. I select the configuration with blocks. I do it again on the central uh, separation. Just notice that the zero point is different. And I terminate the work on the left lateral with the same configuration. Now I'm going to set my cabinet with shelves, so I drag and drop the place division, I select horizontal, apply the same material and then the rest of the cabinet and this uh, shelf I'm going to edit its uh, profile and to do this I need to toggle to the user section uh, mode, so the 2D shape of IronCAD and using the, the different tools at my disposition here, I can easily edit uh, the front of my shelf. For example, I just drop a circle and I trim what I don't need. And this is the design of my shelf now. Uh, now I'm going to the add-on properties of my shelves and just set the quantity, the number of shelves to five, for example. One last thing, but very important, remember we have to um, assign and to set dowels to the vertical separation. So to make it faster, I'm selecting the, the dowels of the top, choose the copy hardware function, and just select the shelf on which I would like the dowels to be uh, placed. And if I toggle to the wireframe mode, I can notice that effectively the dowels are well positioned at the correct place. Strangely enough, I cannot use the place door feature uh, of my application because this is uh, the add-on properties of this function are made for traditional uh, doors. Uh, I don't have a disposal here in the add-on properties a way to for, for a way to move, for example, in one direction uh, the door. So now the question is, how are we going to solve this problem? So I'm going to think about this and I realize that actually the sliding doors are parallel to the back. So if I, in the cabinet manager, if I make a copy of the back, I can see that with the help of this cursor in Y, I can move my new part in one, in one direction, in this case in the Y axis. So this is quite interesting and it gives me an idea of what I'm going to do next. Actually, the back, I'm going to divide it, its width in two 
and I'm going to create two new parameters, two new offset parameters to take into account uh, the constructor's uh, documentation uh, to offset the sliding doors to the front. Therefore, if you consider that uh, one of the door must be moving forward, I can assign uh, my new parameter and in the parameter in Y axis I can write that it is equal to the depth of the cabinet plus the offset. And now I notice that exactly the door is moving forward. I must now make some correction for the zero point in the X axis and regarding the height of the door, the height of the door is equal to the height of the cabinet minus the height of the legs. And remember, I did create a parameter for this, so I can enter the formula into my parameters. And as a consequence, the result is that the cabinet is exactly like I want it to be. Now I need to update the width of the door because the width of the door is equal to the width of the cabinet divided in two. Now this is how my cabinet looks like. So I'm going to repeat this procedure with the left door in this case. So I make a copy in the cabinet manager of the former door and I going to modify the Z point with the help of the cursor here so you can notice that it moved uh, leftward but I need to correct this position and it's equal to the width of the cabinet uh, divided in two. One more detail but important one I need to correct the offset and use the other one so that the two sliding doors are not in the same uh, face. Fantastic. Now I'm going to check from uh, top view and indeed I can notice that the two doors are not colliding with, with each other. Regarding the hardware and in particular the guide, I have had the chance to download from the website of the constructor Hawa a 2D DXF uh, file representing the profile and I have a DXF. I immediately took care to create a small parameter L because later I would like it to be parametric and I would like the guide to have the same length and the width of the cabinet of course. Now beware that the profile is identical for the top and the bottom but the zero point is different so it means that you need to have two versions of this uh, hardware in your library, a virtual libra library of hardware. Now I'm going to drop the hardware on the bottom by the, dropping the place hardware feature and with the help of the wizard and the help of the arrows here I can uh, position it properly. Remember that I did create a parameter for my hardware and now I'm going to toggle to the full parameter table of my cabinet here. I'm going to spot the line referring to uh, my guide. I can do that easily because I, I input a fancy value of 101 hundred millimeter. So I, I just write L underscore 1 and it gives actually the width of the cabinet. So uh, now the length of the guide matches the width of the cabinet. It looks great but Oops, I can see here that I have a small problem because my guide is colliding with the vertical separation. But uh, don't worry, you just uh, update the add-on properties of the vertical separation and enter, for example, in D4 a new value of 30 millimeter. And I do exactly the same for the shelves with the add-on properties D4 is equal to 30. And now I don't have a problem anymore. So what you can see is the dowel of the vertical separation. So don't worry because applying the update feature it will be automatically recomputed and it will be correctly positioned again. In the meantime I have dropped the hardware on the top. I'm going to uh, verify now that uh, everything is fine from above. I can see that it is the case and now it's time to uh, to set the hardware on the sliding doors. 
In the meantime, I had the chance to download from the Heffler website the 3D hardware. I just enriched it with a few drillings and I took care to position correctly the zero point with the anchor. I have isolated the two sliding doors and I'm going to start now dropping the hardware on the uh, right door. So with the help of the wizard I'm going to select the proper uh, hardware, in this case in the slide, direct, slide directory. I set the value to 2 and the distance to 80 millimeter. And then I noticed that, okay, it's not on the right side of the door, but I just need to check the, uh, the, the, the green arrow, the green uh, position, and it comes in the right direction now. I just need to orient it properly with the help of the arrows, and that is uh, correct now. Fine, now I just need to do the same underneath and position a different hardware this time uh, on the uh, bottom of the door. And if I check my cabinet, I can uh, see by myself now that effectively the top hardware perfectly matches my guide. And if I check underneath, I'm going to see uh, exactly the same. So it is properly positioned now. Now I'm going to repeat this procedure for the other uh, sliding door as well and verify that everything is fine and that's the case. My new cabinet is almost ready now. I'm going to verify if it's fully parametric and indeed I can see that the doors have been updated, the dimensions have been updated. Now I update feature and the hardware will be updated. If you are interested by our CADCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.